Hello, welcome to my tutorial about adding work planes to um, your CAM so that they can be added to the assembly for activity 4.5. So um, as you can see right here, I have um, activity 4.5 open as my project here in Inventor, and you can see all of my CAMs are there. Now, you will be assigned a CAM, um, and for the moment, I'm just going to choose the eccentric CAM here. I'm gonna double click on it to open it. Um, you're going to be assigned a cam, and the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is to change uh, the parametric dimension, that D, that we did um, when we made these cams. So I'm going to give you a number, um, and so let's say it was 2. So I'm going to go ahead and actually let's make it like 1.5. Um, let me make one that actually nobody else is going to have. So how about 1.67 uh, five four I just made that number up so that it's different than yours so you're gonna change D and you're gonna hit done and then you um, before you do anything else let's go ahead and do a file save as um, my IED folder has popped up here and you can see that it's opening up to the activity 4.5 I have more cams than you because I do this a lot uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on that little down arrow and then go back to your IED folder, which will be one folder up. And inside of this, you will see that there is an activity 4.5 day two simulation folder. I gave you that folder. Uh, so you wanna go ahead, double click on it to open it. Um, and you're gonna go ahead and you will save uh, that um, right here. And I'm just gonna put mine, I'm gonna call mine eccentric cam sample. You can just call yours uh, eccentric cam. You won't have anything else in there. And you're gonna hit save. Uh, it's going to give you this warning. The selected no location is not in the active project. Do you wish to continue the save? Yes, yes you do. So now you're saving it to the correct location. Now we need to add three work features in order for us to be able to proceed to the next step. The first thing we're going to do is we want there to be a plane that slices this like a piece of cheese between two pieces of, san of sandwich bread. So to do that, I'm going to click on plane, and then from the drop down menu, the little arrow there, I want to go mid plane between two planes. So I'm going to first pick the slices of bread, um, which would be the top of my cam, and then I use my view cube to zoom around and select the bottom of my cam, and then when I click on it, you will see that a plane has appeared that slices the cam in half that way. Um, then I want to add an axis, an axis that pokes out through the middle of the hole that this is going to sit on the axle. So when I click on the down arrow next to axis, one of the options is to go through the center of a circular or elliptical edge. I will click on that, and then I'm going to find that one of those circles there, click on it, and now you'll see that there's a little tiny yellow line. By the way, if you have a hard time seeing the line and you'd like to make it a little bit bigger, you can just kind of click on it and drag it, and that makes you it able for you to see it a little more clearly. The very last plane that you want to add is one that's going to split it down the middle through the center of the hole. Um, and this is going to vary a little bit by the cam and by where you made your drawing. Um, so hopefully you all started your cams as instructed uh, on the uh, origin, on the zero, zero. If you didn't, this is gonna be a lot harder. So um, you'll notice over here in the model view that one of the, um, there's a little file folder and this is in every single inventor part that there is called origin. If I click on the little triangle next to origin, it will open up and you will see a whole bunch of stuff that exists. It's basically the coordinate system that allows you to figure out which way's up and down and side. Um, and as I highlight over each of these, you will see that there are some planes that exist uh, in my drawing. What I'm looking for, and in my case, it's this YZ plane, I'm looking for the one that slices it down the middle. And if it doesn't look like it's slicing it down the middle, if I give it a view from the top, you will see that clearly that is the correct plane. Now, I want to first make it visible. So I'm going to right click, that's the, my middle finger, not my index finger, right click, and um, I'm going to turn it on. So visibility right there, and now I'll see it. So now you can see as I scroll around, hey, there's a plane there.
Um, if I'd like to make this a little bit bigger for these planes, what you have to do is again, go back over here, right click and uncheck auto resize, uncheck that. Because then that allows me to, um, if you kind of go here and highlight over it, one of them moves it around and the other one, the other corner, oops, which I just lost here, the other corner makes it bigger and then you can see it. So at this point, you should have three work features. One that slices it down the middle like cheese in, uh, in between two pieces of bread. One that slices it down the center that goes through that hole. And one that um, an axle or an axis that pokes out through the hole in the center of your cam. Um, at that point, since I've already saved it in the correct location, I can just hit either Control S or the little save icon up here. And then, um, I'm ready to proceed to the next part. Um, that before I can proceed to the next part though, uh, it's really important that I close this tab because before I keep moving forward, the next thing I'm going to do is going to be to go into my projects folder and I'm actually going to browse for the project that is magically appeared. I put some folders into your IED folders last night. So if you go into browse, here's my IED folder. There is that activity 4.5 two day simulation. And inside of there, there's already an inventor project called Automata Simulation. So I'm going to hit open. And when I do that, done you can see, hey, there's that cam that I just saved. Um, I think my tutorial picks up and it has a picture of the assembly in there. So to start, and, and then you'll be ready to move on to my next tutorial, uh, make sure that you do open and you're going to be looking for a file called Automata Simulation Test. You can go ahead and open that up and then you are ready for my next tutorial. Thanks so much, guys.